Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. Today we shall be carrying on with modern industrialization, getting to the top tier type things that we need to do. And we're going to start by having a look at the processing unit. So the processing unit, let's have a look at its uses first of all, because that's important. So we can use it to make large advanced motors. We can also use it to make large advanced pumps. And it's also needed in the highly advanced machine coal. Uh, it's also used in the high pressure advanced steam boiler and also the large diesel generator. These are all things I'd like to build. Um, and I think there are no extra uses for these particular items. Look at the highly advanced machine hull. I think that's got one use, which is here. Uh, has it got any other uses? Oh, yes, it has. It's got uses for input and output ports. What else can we use it for? For an EV storage unit and transformers. So at the moment it's not unduly useful except for making the large diesel generator. The large diesel generator is a multi-block, so that's, that's quite interesting, so we might like to do that. That's with titanium. So let's go back and start to do the next part of the processing unit. We have to look at the recipe for that is this one here. The so it does need a processing unit board. It needs some random access memory, digital circuits, and memory management unit, and an arithmet arithmetic logic unit. Now the memory management unit is fairly straightforward. This is platinum fine wire. We're going to look at how to make platinum today uh, using the modern industrialization method. A silicon wafer, we shall have to produce one of those as well. And an emerald plate. Emerald plate's fairly straightforward. Recipe is just compressing dust. So the next one of these would be the arithmetic logic unit and the that is similar we've got not gates or gates and and gates plus a diamond plate and the recipe for diamond plate is also crushed diamonds or in fact we can use we look at the compressor recipe we can use diamonds or compressed diamonds it doesn't make any difference i think i've chosen diamonds in my recipe because i've already prepared the recipe to make a processing unit so we can find out what's actually we need to do. The next one, which is hard, are the processing unit boards. So look at the recipe for that. So we need platinum plates again, more platinum, annealed copper uh, cable. That's no big deal. We've, and cadmium batteries. That's actually no big deal. That's just cadmium dust. It's the same as uh, let's have a look at this. The same as all the batteries except for the cadmium changes here and the anneal and the cable changes as well. So we need annealed copper cables. Fairly obvious, these are recipes which is basically annealed copper wire with rubber sheets. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, cadmium dust is one of those which we get as a, a byproduct from a centrifuge when we're centrifuging monazite dust that gives us also this neodymium dust, uh, yttium dust, which we don't have any uses for. That was used to make, um, I forgot what it's used to make actually, let's look at uses of that. And the polarizer oh yes that's just make polarized stainless steel rods okay so the next thing is was the processing unit board the recipe for that we've looked at that one already uh digital circuit board we've already made that we've already made the polyvinyl chloride which is another thing that's important so i've got these recipes actually set up so let's have a look at these recipes and we can craft one of these processing units and we can see what we've got to do. So most of this we've already know how to do. For example, have to make uh, steel ingots and all the rest of it. And at the bottom of here, we should find out what we can't do. So we can't make platinum uh, dust and we can't make silicon wafers. So let's have a look at silicon wafers first of all. I haven't got that down here. Let's put that in here. So silicon wa wafers are this one. So we need some water, a half bucket of water, plus some monocrystalline silicon in the cutting machine. The monocrystalline silicon recipe for that is argon. That's what we were making some argon for. Silicon dust and a ty iridium tiny dust will produce one of these. So we need 32 silicon dust. will actually produce 32 silicon wafers. The recipe for iridium tiny dust is, well, we can take iridium dust but the way to do it with modern industrialization is through the centrifuge so what we have here we have an incoming solution platinum sulfuric solution uh, 
And let's have a look at the recipe. For that. So we need some sulfuric acid and some platinum crushed dust. Platinum crushed dust comes from uh, sheldonite ore, which we get from the quarry, produces two platinum dust. Let's go back again here. Uh, she's quite good because you get for that you get nine with nine buckets. You're going to get nine buckets of um, platinum sulfuric solution. So let's have a look at the uses of that one. We can go back again. So we get the iridium ore, and we also get purified platinum solution in the centrifuge. And the uses of one bucket of purified solution will give us three tiny a platinum tiny dust and some sulfuric acid back again so let's go and set up this process because that's quite a big one we'll we'll leave this so they can wait for us for now we'll just do the platinum dust so we have an area that's set up here as you can see i've got the basic all i've done is run some tin cable along here because these are all um, low low level machines uh, so what we need to do is put them down so the first one we needed to put down was a chemical reactor We'll, we'll put the machines down and we'll come look at the processes that go on to that. And then we also need to connect that in, of course, so it gets power. I need the, uh, the wrench. Let's just move the... I don't, oh, don't need that. I don't need the magnet in my hot bar because it works without it. So let's right-click this and so it gets some power. Next machine along here is going to be the centrifuge. So let's put the centrifuge down here. This is, this is fairly common practice for most of these machines. I'll connect that into the power. And then the last machine is going to be the electrolyzer. Let's get that out and here and put it down. Like that and connect it into the power again. So now we have the three machines that we need. So let's first of all start with this particular machine, the uh, chemical reactor. So what we need to do is we need to make quite a few recipes for this particular one, nine pages. So the one we're interested in is to take um so see if i can find it it's probably quite a late late one down here we need the uh, platinum one don't we here we go so platinum crushed dust plus sulfuric acid makes this platinum sulfuric solution so let's click the plus button and put that into the system here and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lock up all of the other fluid slots because we don't want anything else in here so just clicking the lock button clicking that off so all the thing that's going to produce is platinum sulfuric solution that platinum sulfuric solution then comes into the centrifuge let's have a look at the recipes for that one so we have to find the platinum sulfuric solution here we go and that will make a five percent chance of a tiny iridium dust but it also gives us purified platinum so let's click this recipe into this and again we'll lock up the fluid I really don't need to worry about the fluid stuff. We can leave the tiny dust here because it doesn't matter if we get more of that. So I'm just going to look at these three in here. We don't care about the input because nothing is going to come in there unless we put it in. That's So that's that one done. So the last machine we're going to take is we're going to take the platinum sulfuric solution. And again, we can go through the recipes for this one. Uh, that's chromium dust. There's only three pages of this, so it's fairly quick to find. So here we go, the platinum recipe in here. And again, we'll do the same thing. Um, I'm going to lock this up here to make sure that these are the ones which are going to go out. And we're going to do, so there's no extra fluids coming out. So what we need to do now is just connect these up. It's night time, I shall be back in a second. So the first thing is, I'm gonna just fill in these holes so we don't need anything from here. Um, let's put some blocks on top of that. Just do it like this. We don't need those holes. I'll leave that wide just in case we need to connect something else to it. It was an extra one. I did that deliberately. So here we need, coming in, we need some platinum crushed dust and some sulfuric acid. So let's connect that in here. So we basically only need the sulfuric acid. Don't need to do anything special. It'll automatically connect and fill in this tank. So now we've got 16 buckets. I'm going to change this tank here because this is a Tecraborn tank. And Tecraborn and it's got plenty of sulfuric acid in aren't actually very good with priorities we do need to set up some priorities here so by shift right clicking that with the wrench it just allows it to it doesn't actually even remove the bit so let's put down here a tank i've got an aluminium tank from modern industrialization and then i can change the priorities in this so we want this to go down so the output from here is going to go down i also need to put into that a some form of pipe 
let's take some what have i got here that'll be nice let's just take some stainless steel pipes because they actually look cool <laughs> and we'll put on top of that um the tank the modern industrialization tank oh, let's just put it down here like this uh, that by the way is a yellow netherite shulker box it doesn't give you any more imp any more um stuff uh, that didn't work because I haven't put the tank on top of it yet. I need to put the tank on top of this. Didn't I? Yeah, I can do that without having to shift or anything like that. So this is going to be an output. So we'll just come down here and break. I need to break a block so I can get to the bottom of this. So I just have to break this block down here. And then we can connect this in with the wrench. Like that. Put the block back again. Dunks are great. I love them. Save a lot of time. So now I'm putting the sulfuric acid out of here into this tank. So it's going to come along here. So what we also know is that the output from here, we we'll look at this electrolyzer, is going to have just sulfuric acid. So we can simply connect this straight into here and make this an output. Right click that twice and that's basically what we need to now is change the priority of this. So we don't need to because we put the lower priority on the other one. So this has got a higher output priority than this tank, which means that the fluid is going to come back and come back into here. So that's that bit done. So the next bit, I'm going to just put down some pipes here like this. Did I just still right click it? It doesn't do anything. And we just connect these in. The only thing I've got to watch out for is making sure that we don't get the wrong fluid coming out. So let's have again a look at the chemical reactor. The only thing that comes out of here is platinum sulfuric solution. So we can simply right click this and let that come out of here. And we're going to do the same for, for the centrifuge. I think the only thing that can come out of here again is just one fluid purified platinum sulfuric solution. So we'll just right click this. And then say we want that. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Oh, I should. I can do that and click it. Say I want it going out. That's what I meant to do. So that'll end up in here. We will end up with um, basically platinum tiny dust, which we can then go and process. So let's get some platinum dust now. I'm just going to get some shells and I. Well, I don't think I've got any in here because I've been collecting. Yeah, I collected the whole chest. Actually, the way I broke it, I just just break it and let the items get picked up. <laughs> so here in this chest here, I should have some. I don't know. I move them around. Some shells and that. Oh, here we got six. We got sixty-four. I think I've already processed them, so we don't have to spend time. So we can simply put that into the electric macerator, and that'll then create some platinum crushed dust for us. I haven't got any recipes set up for that, but we should have some crushed dust in here. So let's go back and we'll get some crushed dust for platinum. I've got I've got a whole stack of these now because I did some preparation. So let's go back up here and then start this process working. All I have to do is put the platinum crushed dust into here, and it just starts to work like that. And as you can see, it's coming along here and it's going to make some platinum sulfuric solution. So this is going to take a long time. The reason it's going to take a long time is because it takes quite a long time before we get our first iridium tiny dust. Around about 20, well, actually, the first time I just tested this, it was about nearly 40 before I got the first tiny dust. So that you can see this is now processing. We've got 16 buckets of that already um, of the sulfuric, platinum sulfuric solution. And this is going to carry on like that this is, again is full and this is coming down slowly so it's got nine buckets of this that I can't put any more because there's no more capacity in here until this gets consumed so that's where that happens and then this should come out and come straight into the electrolyzer but i think why is it not coming out because we haven't got any yet that's the reason why <laughs> it doesn't take very long actually as you can see it's around 60 seconds for this particular recipe that's that one it tells you 60 seconds but for most of these recipes for the, all the big recipes and 12 seconds for the um the tiny rest for the tiny dust actually that's slightly better isn't it because that's 10 times as opposed to nine times faster 
But what happens is this one requires eight EU per tick, as you can see here. And this particular machine, if we look at here, overclocking here is the maximum overclock is 32 EU per tick. And what that means is it will go up to a maximum of four times the speed. So if this is uh, continuous, then it will increase that up. So we've now got some purified solution and we should have some purified uh, tiny platinum tiny dust here. I need nine before I can do anything else. So let's go and have a look at doing the silicon wafer recipe next because that's important. So we need these monostyle crystal, crystals. For that we need argon and it needs to go into the cantonal tier electric blast furnace. And we need the tiny iridium dust before we can make this monostyle monocrystal silicon gas that's a word. So let's go let's go and put it into here. I've got the materials prepared I think. And what we have in here as you can see I've got all sorts of tanks in here. And this one is has got argon already prepared. So what I do is I take my I've got a tank of argon in here like this. And I can simply just connect this tank onto this fluid input. So that'll then take the, these four buckets of argon argon because that's now eight buckets we don't need very much argon so it's going to be reasonably efficient to to remove that and you can use this wrench shift right click it to remove the tank as well that's quite handy the argon takes forever to make it's very very slow process so the next thing we need to do is we just need to put into here um the other items when, when they're ready so let's go and so I need that. I'll have to basically come up here. I should have got some silicon being made. Hopefully, let's have a look at this. See if we've got being lucky and got one of those. If not, I'm just going to come back and no, it doesn't work with them. Probably use something completely. So we haven't got any iridium tiny dust yet. But as you can see, the speed is now three out of sixty-four. So this incre increments every time one of these items gets processed. So I shall be back as soon as we have our first tiny iridium dust well I got the first one it took 63 iridiums to do that and as you can see this is now maxed out to 64 so the overclock is times 4 so this is now taking 15 seconds to do each one which is great I've also been down and got some more iridium ore you can see it doesn't actually use that very much uh, sorry, not iridium or some uh, platinum or it doesn't use up too much, but we then get quite a few um, little iridium dusts in here like this. So let's go and take those down and get to the next level of processing. So the next thing we wanted to do is to make the wafers, or the, which we have to then put into here. So what we needed was 32 silicon and one of these tiny iridium dusts. Let's put that in there and go and get some silicon. I think that's prepared. I hope it's prepared. Yeah, I've got 192, so we'll just take half a stack of, of those and then we can put this half a stack into the blast furnace, or electric blast furnace like this. And that should be all we need. Yes, you can see it's got taken away and it's going to process that. It doesn't seem to take too long. It's 10% already, so that's not too bad. I'll, I'll be back when it's finished anyway. We'll, but by the time we're going to have a look in here, it'll be finished. So what then do we have to do with with those that pretty will produce the um one or crystalline silicon i think that's a look at the recipe for that it will so we just take this and we, when it comes through and put that into the cutting machine to give the silicon wafers and then um after the silicon wafers we then have to make some random access memory so look at the uses of the silicon wafers so that they're used in um the memory management chip they're also used in this which is the same thing the assembler and in the chemical reactor so in the chemical reactor you need to put some argon stero sterine butadine rubber antimony dust and aluminium plus these silicon wafers so hopefully we've got the silicon coming through already not yet right i'll be back as soon as it comes in so that's just arrived. Let's take it. Didn't take very long. This happened. Uh, in fact, while I'm here, let's just put the the tiny dust into here. Hopefully, I've got a recipe to craft those up. I might, I might have forgotten to do that. So we just need to put this into a cutting machine. Here we've got a cutting machine now. 
So that'll then cut up these into silicon wafers, and it's going to take quite a long time. Let's have a look. I'm just going to take. Oh, there's too many recipes in here. We better go in the other way around and have a look. recipe for it. Oh no, it's not going to be too long. It's progressing. Three, okay, nine hundred. Is that nine hundred and six? Is that sorry? I missed that. Thirty seconds. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so that's they're going to come out and they'll be back in the system. So then we should be able to produce some random access memory. So let's have a look if we can if we can if I've got the recipe prepared as well. Have. But I've also got the recipe for silicon wafers as well. So let's well, I should have probably put that into here. So what we needed for that was the cutting machine. So let's get the cutting machine out here. And yeah, we've got space for that. So now so now we can simply craft those once we get the materials ready. So now we needed some in the in the chemical react no in the assembler, wasn't it? Yes. So in the no it's in the chemical reactor, sorry. I'm, the chemical reactor that we're going to be using is this one. Let's have a look at the recipes in here and we'll show click in the recipe that we want. So we want argon and sterine butadine rubber. Let's just click that into place. So we we have got some polyvinyl chloride here. Oh, that's argon we want. Oh, that's what I needed the argon for. So never mind. So let's put in some sterine butadine rubber in here and go and get some more argon. All right, I'll be back in a second. So I've got some argon. I'm actually going to unlock these recipes now because we don't need these to be locked up, especially the all of the inputs and outputs because I have got a recipe for this already programmed. We can leave the fluids there locked, that's no big deal. So let's have a look. We needed now to use the random memory. Let's craft one of these. I think we only need one, but maybe it's need, we need to, I think they come in batches of 32 anyway, so let's have a look. No, they come in batches of two. So we should that should simply now go into here and that should then start to process in here. As soon as we've got the chemicals in here like this, you'll see the memory is being created. Fantastic. So let's go and start to make the other bits and pieces. So as soon as that's done, we should have enough bits and pieces to make the um, processing unit. And that's going to take a long time. We shall see. See, that's gone. True. In fact, that's the only recipe I'm using in with well, it's attached to applied energistics that requires um, fluids. So now we've got our two recipes. Processing board, let's craft one of these. Um, so we need quite a lot of bits and pieces for doing this. Uh, but I've also, oh, we're missing platinum dust. Of course we are. Uh, so I haven't got the recipe for platinum dust yet. So let's just make that recipe up. Um, so it's a recipe for the, from here we can do which would be furnace so we can take this recipe here and then we can click this recipe into place so now we have the we also need to change that to be a crafting recipe so that'll encode uh, nine platinum tiny dust into one platinum dust and we can simply put that into the molecular assembler find a good space for it Actually, looks like here would be a good space for it, so we'll have to probably move something around a bit. Let's move this circuit over here and then put that in there. So the dusts are all together. It doesn't really make any difference, to be dead honest with you. So now we should be able to process, we should be able to process, craft one of these up. Let's have a look. Indeed, we can. If we could have got the start button on here, that's using 2000 bytes. That's not too bad. If we then get, we should also be able to process that and um, process that platinum. Uh, sorry, a we should be able to craft a platinum, a processing unit. Oh, I think I should start again. Right, and again, we can now start this, as you can see. And this is this requires 26,000 uh, bytes, or just over. So you need quite a decent sized processor for doing that. So that's now going to start away, and it's going to start crafting it with all of those bits and pieces that we need. And that's going to take a while. It says 27 minutes. Now it's 31 minutes. It's going to take longer than that. It'll probably take nearly an hour. So I'll see you when it's done. Well, it's nearly finished, except for I've forgotten to do one thing. And the one thing we forgot to do was to put into the uh, assembler here some polyvinyl chloride. You can see it's got all of these materials in it, but we don't have any polyvinyl chloride in that, so it's not going to be able to make up the um, processing unit board. 
and it's also got to make up uh, it's got to use these electronic circuit boards and batteries and cables now this one I think is how long does that take oh 60 seconds so it's not too bad the one at the top is oh polyurethane have I not got enough polyurethane let's have a look 250 million buckets no we haven't but we should have plenty in this tank here so we've got plenty in here just have to take some out unfortunately it's a bit awkward so let's just do it the easy way or the quicker way let's just take out of it um, out of my inventory of course i need to get out let's take an aluminium cable out of here the pipe i mean fluid pipe let's put this down it, what you can't do with these tanks is you can't put beside them here is steel any any of these in one industrialization tanks here and say that we would like to for example conf configure the fluids to go out so anywhere on the top row here we can force these to go out like that so the bottom just will be an input and we can pump it out and you'll see that nothing gets pumped out of here like that so but it has got plenty of fluid in here because it's got 140, uh, nearly 150 buckets. So I can break this now. Now put it on the corner here, for example. And then we can put the pipe down and get the fluid out of the pipe. Or we can do it from here, but there's nothing in this pipe at the moment. So let's just do that. But it's not such a problem to do this because, oh, maybe it's going to slow things down a little bit. So that's fine that wants to go in here and it wants to go from here like this so we simply right click that and then now this is ready and filled up so we can now break the tank with the poly polyethylene in it we can then come along with here and put that into the in here into the assembler and sure enough you can see straight away we're making digital circuit boards four of those we need how long do they make i can't they're not too long 25 seconds each so they're pretty fast so now we should have our uh, processing unit board i should say that's been stored yes it has good so it's just finishing off making end up to silicon that takes quite a long time to do and it also takes quite a long actually this, these are very fast we just want to look at those and then reggie we've just made an op app as you saw so things are just progressing through here fairly quickly i think sometimes it has a bug and it can't count <laughs> so <laughs> the one we want to have a look at is in the polarized uh, end up sort of good now they go in the chemical reactor don't they yes they do but it seems that we've got 45 tiny aluminium dust with 46 silicon plates so it's missing one dust So what you can do to fix that is fairly straightforward. We could, I won't cancel this recipe. We just need to find out what the recipe for the peep, for the, for the end silicon plate is. And I think it's, um, I can't really remember to be honest. So let's have a look. So it's a tiny antimony antimeter so we've probably got a tiny antimeter so somewhere got one you see and that should have been in the machine um i have noticed this problem a few times probably fixed by now by the way let's put that into the uh chemical reactor or someone wants to put it in didn't we so you can see this is making p doped and it's going to take quite a long time because they're fairly they take a reasonable amount of time these 20 seconds each I say reasonable, but at the moment it's twice, so it's taking ten seconds for each one. When you've got uh, when you've got thirty or forty-five to do, that's a reasonable amount of time. Anyway, tell you what, I shall be back when everything's ready. So it's ready. He ha hasn't crafted it because I've actually put everything into this chest here, so we can actually assemble it all uh, manually. So let's do that, and then I'll move that pattern that we're out of that chest, and let's have a look at these. The processing board. Uh, then we can simply click it in to make the processing unit and we have our first processing unit how about that, that new recipe no achievements for that so we can simply put that back into the system here let's put it in the system and that will then complete this particular processing uh, process 
cut and crafting and so the next thing we would actually like to do is have a look at large i've not got time to do this but just have a look for example at what we need for a large pump so let's craft one of these up you can see that i'm short of quite a few materials here early on anyway so lead dust was short of quartz was short of gold dust was short of antimony dust was short of copper dust were always short of copper dust <laughs> same with rubber sheet we're always short of rubber sheet and i think that's it until we get to the very end here where we need to make some recipes for titanium rotors and titanium rods uh, so you need one recipe for a titanium rod one for the um for the I suppose the blade and one for the rotor itself so we need to make three more rotors i will do that next time anyway so so that's it for this episode next episode i'm going to finish off with modern industrialization and make the two big machines so i'll need a lot of preparation before that happens anyway until then i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>